Glad to... Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and... I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad. Real bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that. But I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraine. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Ship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. 
Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. These allegations are very serious. I... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. 
<sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, EarthClan. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. That is close enough, Command. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I have to get a little nervous. That's understandable. Anyone wants you to stay.
Welcome to the museum. Allow me to be your guide. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across Thanks, the kid. Have fun. I will. Have fun, that is. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Look at that bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like he came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. 
An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. 
I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. That guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. No, Commander. ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Look at that bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to the told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move free. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in CSEC. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this my- Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? 
The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. I knew it. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. This one desires no charity. It only desires to spread the truth of the enkindlers. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its mess. How can I convince my... I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I want you to stop. I should have known that a human wouldn't respect the laws. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If we harass this Hanar, we're going to have a diplomatic incident. I'm not concerned with diplomatic incidents. I'm concerned with the law being broken. If you want to get promoted, learn to pick your battles. Let it go. I suppose I can tell my superior that I attempted a diplomatic solution. Some other CSEC officer can arrest the Hanar. It's no longer my problem. Thank you for your assistance. The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindlers. This one offers its appreciation. This is your opportunity to show people that the Hanar aren't crazy xenophobes. Don't waste it. This one observes the wisdom of your words. This one has little money, but it can offer this. Now finally, this one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. Let all races herald the glory.